I made it back. I made it back. This is what I got on there so far. Still trying to get this part back over the rim. This is the little part that's left. And it's the hardest part. Trust me. It's hard. Well, we work it. I got on the rug too. going guys oh breeze is working it oh breeze is working it there it is take the pliers off there it is guys now I'm gonna go ahead and tighten up the stem you see it's on now I just gotta tighten up the rim the stem and that nut uh huh now we're gonna tighten it up that wasn't that bad for the first time. There we go. All right, that's tight. That wasn't that bad. Okay. Now we're gonna go over and plug in the air compressor. I got an air compressor over here. Let me show you. Whoa. I got an air compressor over here. Let me see. We're gonna put it back together. I took off a took off my uh, piece right here. I took this piece off. Let me pause it and put it back on. All right, guys, I got the air compressor on. There's a the tire. There's the a valve stem right there. Okay, get some air going in it. air leaking around the stem I hear air leaking around the stem gotta put the cap on it I don't got nothing to tighten up the valve stem in there I don't got that tool to tighten the stem up in there I'll get somebody to do that so I'll put the cap on it and it goes away. Leaking is gone. Got to get somebody to cut that tool in there. And there we have it. Your ATV tire all done. That is a 22 by 10 by 10. This came off the back tire. Of one of the ATVs so we're ready to rock and roll should be headed up to the lake start going up there next month so right now I'm getting all my little gadgets and stuff ready
especially the four wheelers. That's the first thing I get going. And okay, guys, appreciate it. That was my first time doing a inner tube change on an ATV tire with no tools but screwdrivers and vice grips. And a little laundry soap and water, little bare hands, and we made out great. Thank you and have a nice day. Subscribe to the channel if you like it.